hidden error. Usage of eyelash is not recognized hidden error. Usage of labels is not recognized Ruggiero Eugenio di Rodolfo Colombo, known as Russ Colombo, was an American singer, violinist and actor. Most famous for his signature tune, You Call It Madness, But I Call It Love, his compositions, Prisoner of Love, and Too Beautiful for Words, and the legend surrounding his early death, early life. Colombo was born in Camden, New Jersey, the twelfth child of Italian immigrant parents, Nicola and Julia Colombo. He started playing the violin at a very young age and debuted professionally at the age of 13. He left high school at age 17 to travel with various bands around the country. He sang and played violin in numerous nightclubs. Career Films By 1928, at the age of 20, Colombo began to participate in motion pictures, including a Vitaphone short in which Colombo appeared as a member of Gus Arnheim and his orchestra. Eventually, he did obtain some feature work in front of the camera, but he slowed down his activities in cinema to pursue other interests. At the time of his death, Colombo had just completed work on the film Wake Up and Dream. He was on his way to stardom when his life was cut short. Among Colombo's other films are Woman to Woman, Wolf Song, The Texan, and Broadway Through a Keyhole. Singer and composer Colombo performed seven vocals while with Arnheim as a member of the string section, six for OK Records and only one for Victor. Colombo ran a nightclub for a while, the Club Pyramid, but gave it up when his manager told him he had star potential. In 1931, he traveled to New York with his manager, songwriter Con Conrad. Conrad secured a late-night radio slot with NBC. This led to numerous engagements, a recording contract with RCA Victor Records, and tremendous popularity with legions of mostly female fans. Not long after arriving in New York, Colombo met actress Dorothy Dell at an audition for the Ziegfeld Follies and began seeing her. Conrad did his best to break the relationship up with a series of publicity-created ruse romances involving Colombo and actresses such as Greta Garbo and Pola Negri. It succeeded. The type of singing that was popularized by the likes of Colombo, Rudy Valley, and Bing Crosby is called crooning. Colombo disliked the label, but it caught on with the general public. It gained popular credence, despite its initial use as a term of derision for the singers employing their low, soothing voices in romantic songs. Colombo composed the songs Prisoner of Love, You Call It Madness with Con Conrad, Gladys Dubois, and Paul Gregory, Too Beautiful for Words. Recorded by the Teddy Joyce Orchestra in 1935, When You're In Love, My Love, Let's Pretend There's a Moon. Recorded by Fat Swaller and Tab Hunter, and Hello Sister, Prisoner of Love, is a standard that has been recorded by Frank Sinatra, Joe Stafford, Art Tatum, Perry Como, The Ink Spots, Mildred Bailey. Teddy Wilson with Lena Horne on vocals, Bing Crosby, Billy Eckstein, and James Brown. Perry Como had a number, one height on Billboard with his recording. James Brown had a top 20 pop hit and performed the song on The Ed Sullivan Show and in the concert movie The T.A.M.I. Show, Death. On Sunday, September 2, 1934, Colombo was shot under peculiar circumstances by his longtime friend, photographer Lansing Brown. While Colombo was visiting him at home, Brown had a collection of firearms and the two men were examining various pieces. Quoting Brown's description of the accident, I was absent-mindedly fooling around with one of the guns. It was of a dueling design and works with a cap and trigger. I was pulling back the trigger and clicking it time after time. I had a match in my hand and when I clicked, apparently the match caught in between the hammer and the firing pin. There was an explosion. Russ slid to the side of his chair. The ball ricocheted off a nearby table and hit Colombo above the left eye. Surgeons at Good Samaritan Hospital made an unsuccessful attempt to remove the ball from Colombo's brain. He died less than six hours after the shooting.
Colombo's death was ruled an accident, and Brown exonerated from blame. His funeral mass was attended by numerous Hollywood luminaries, including Bing Crosby and Carol Lombard, who was to have had dinner with Colombo the evening of the accident and who was romantically involved with him. Colombo's mother was hospitalized in serious condition from a heart attack at the time of the accident. The news was withheld from her by his brothers and sisters for the remaining 10 years of her life. Due to her previous heart condition, it was feared that the news would prove fatal to her. They used all manner of subterfuges to give the impression that Colombo was still alive, including fake letters from him and records used to simulate his radio program. Colombo is interred in Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Actress Virginia Brissick was serving as Colombo's private secretary at the time of his death and was later called upon by the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office to testify and identify Columbo's remains at the subsequent inquest. In popular culture, in 1958, singer Jerry Vale recorded a tribute album, I Remember Russ. In 1995, 61 years after Columbo's death, singer Tiny Tim released an album in tribute to Columbo, titled Prisoner of Love, which he recorded with the group Clang. Columbo is one of the historical figures named in the Neil Diamond composition, Done Too Soon.